remember the restrictions that they have here there's are just extraordinary. So here are the leaders after the original dance. They have won four national championships. Their first in 1991, another one in 94, and in the last two years, trying to become the first to win five since Michael Stewart and Judy Blumberg in the early 80s. Elizabeth Punslin and Jared Swallow. Now, one of the things you want to see here is their flight across the ice, the speed that they have. The reverse edging, that beautiful lift, the swing, the load, a very, very well-meshed step. Look at this long, low edge. One of the things that you notice here is the way they progress from straight up middle level down to low edging. Great variety. Well, it was a sixth place finish at the Champion Series final that sent Hunselin and Swallow back to work redesigning a new dance for the Olympics. This is not it here. I wonder how well, smart that is at this point. You know, in ice dancing, you're either in or you're out. People are either talking about you or they're not. The fact that they hadn't progressed to new programs, I think, hurt them a little bit. At any rate, they were not talked about so much at the recent Champion Series final, so they didn't uh, feel that there was excitement about them. Mm -hmm. Look at these beautiful swinging edges. One of the important things is deep lobes, strong edges, great curves. That's wonderful. This one of the great, great stretches, pointed toes, stretched lines in all of skating. Their style has really changed over the years, too, hasn't it? And has reflected their relationship. Remember early on, a race car theme to one of their programs, an Olympic theme. Most are romantic now. I think those were attempts to perform theme dances, which really and generally are frowned upon in the world of ice dancing. One of the things that you notice here are variations both in tempo and movement and in speed. And that's very important to show the variety of steps and dances that there are. Very important also that skaters skate facing each other in addition to being side by side. Look at this hair spread eagle. Very minimal. I just think one second off at the end, but who, forgive, you can forgive them easily because that's such a number, that, uh, a powerful number. And they share their success and failures, of course, together away from the ice, too. A married couple, yes. Igor Spielbahn, Elizabeth and Coates. Elizabeth Coates, right. Who do you cheer for? You've got all five of the top teams in this competition. 
We'll have Puntzelin and Swallows Marks when we return to Philadelphia. Back in Philadelphia, Liz Puntzelin and Jared Swallow following their championship three dance. 5.8. And, and the marks for technical merit. 5.7 up to 5.9. The leaders after the original dance and expected to win this competition. Well, take a look at this particular move. Now, this is one of the really great moves of, of ice dancing. Look at the stretch and the line and the lowness of it all. That gives variety to other moves which are middle or high. But that stretch, the turnout of the foot, is really beautiful. Well, they became partners in 89, won their first national championship two years later in 91, the first of four in what will become now five. Five eights and five nines for presentation for Liz Punchlin and Jared Swallow. Very solid. Should be on their way to the Olympics as the national champions. And deservedly so.